Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am your host, Vorkex, from MobileMusicPro.com, your home for mobile music production. And in today's video, we will be going through all the major changes in Cubasis's brand new version 3.5 update, right after this. And as always, folks, if you are enjoying this content, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Now, about a year ago, we actually made a video showcasing the top five features that we'd like to see implemented inside of Cubasis 3, and we're happy to say that a couple of those did make it in this update. But of course, we still have a long way to go. However, it does look like the mobile doll wars are heating up again, with competitors like AEM and MTS releasing brand new features every single month. And it will be super interesting to see where all the dust settles by the end of 2023. All right, and now with that intro aside, let's get into these brand new Cubasis version 3.5 features. Now what we have here is the official Cubasis 3 version 3.5 update post in the Cubasis forums. And as you can see, they are letting us know that Cubasis version 2 and version 3 are both on holiday sale. So if you haven't picked up Cubasis yet, now is a great time to do so. And of course, we'll also make sure to leave a link to this page in the description below. But if we scroll up here, we can see the major brand new updates, which are highlighted here in the new features and improvement section. And we will be going through most of these in today's video. But as always, there is some stability and bug fixes here as well. So if you get a chance, do make sure to try to read through all of these different things. Because as you can see, Steinberg is working hard over here, even if this latest update did take a while to come out. You can see they're always still doing a bunch of work here. Now that we've taken a brief look at the update post, let's go ahead and actually open up Cubasis and take a look at these individual updates. So if we open up Cubasis 3 now, you'll see it does have a brand new loading screen. Very, very shiny, very, very pretty and it will open up to this brand new section that Steinberg is calling the Cubasis Hub. It's in this hub that you'll be able to open up new projects, open up your most recent project, or browse through all of your previous projects. There's also some really great tutorials here from Dom, which you'll find at the bottom of the screen, including things like how to get started, information on the master strip, and some of the Waves plugins here. But before we go in and actually open up a recent project, let's just show you the quick actions real quick. So we'll just minimize this or close this out here. Now what quick actions are, are essentially additional features that you can access by long tapping on the application icon. So here, if we long tap on our Cubasis 3 icon, we now have a couple of new options, including open recent project and create new project. So definitely a pretty handy feature to have, but we're just going to open up our most recent project here. And it'll just take a couple seconds here. Now, right away, you are going to notice something different here at the top of the screen, which is the new feature for displaying the status bar. This will end up reducing your screen real estate by just a little bit, but you can always toggle that option by going into your setup and just tap on the user interface section here on the left hand side. And now we have this new toggle option called Show Status Bar. And we can enable this and disable this by tapping the button at any time. Now I'm not quite sure if I'm going to end up using this feature or not, but we will leave it enabled for now for demonstration purposes for the rest of this video. There is a few more additional options in the setup, but we'll get to those in just a minute. The next feature I'd like to talk about is the drag and drop. So let's go ahead and open up Sample Crate to demonstrate that. We'll just open that up, throw that to the side, and then open up Cubasis. We're inside our Stranger Wave sample pack here, so we can pick any single one of these waves. We'll just go to the bass loops. And what we can do is quickly add a new audio track here. Add audio. And now we can begin dragging any one of our audio files into that audio track. So super simple to do. And we can do the same thing for MIDI. So we can just add a new MIDI track here. Go add MIDI. And we'll scroll through to our MIDI folder here, because of course all of our sample packs do come with audio and MIDI files. So we'll just scroll to our MIDI folder. Open up bass MIDI. And let's drag one over. All right, perfect. So a super handy feature to have here and a definitely a great way to improve your workflow because previously you can only drag and drop into specific apps. But as you saw, now you can drag and drop anywhere on the timeline. Now, next up, we'll talk about the mouse scrolling and trackpad feature. So if we push our sample crate app to the side here, we do have our mouse hooked up, as you can see on the screen, and we can now scroll up and down with our mouse wheel. This will work here for the timeline as well as any of the additional menus, such as the plugin menus or the preset menus or the instrument menus here. Can scroll all the way up or all the way down. Now, unfortunately, there's still no search over here in the browse window, but being able to use your mouse wheel to scroll up and down quickly is certainly an improvement from having to do it with your finger over and over again. Now, that's pretty much all the new features outside of the settings window. So now let's open up the setup window here and browse through a couple of the new options. The first one of which is again located in our user interface settings inside of our setup tab here. And you can see this new option now called show grid on top of events. We currently have that enabled because that is a new feature that I very much like. But if we disable that here, you can see there's no longer any lines on these actual events, whether it's an audio event or a MIDI event. But if you are zoomed way in here, so we can zoom way in. 
If you do find yourself in a similar situation, which I'm sure you will, zoomed in all the way here, editing some events, it can be hard to align things to the actual grid. Because yes, we do have the alliance here at the very top, but they don't extend all the way through to the bottom. So now with this new feature, to show grid on top of the events, becomes super simple to see exactly where the grid is, even if you're zoomed all the way in like we are here. And now the next couple of new settings can be found in our metronome page here on the left hand side. One of those new settings is going to be the ability to change your metronome sound. Now personally, I've never really been a fan of the default Cubasis and Cubase metronome sound. I much prefer the sound from MPCs, FL Studio, and just other types of DAWs and other types of music software. But what's cool is you can now change that out. And as you can see, I did go with the M beep. But we can play a few of these for you right now. So we'll just zoom back out real quick. Let's remove the loop and hit the record button. So as you can hear there, they definitely have different sounds from other popular music recording software. But what's also really cool is you can now only play the metronome if you'd like while you're recording. Because I don't know if you're like me, but every time after you hit record, you also have to tap on the metronome icon to turn off that sound. And that's of course just one more step, but we can now remove that step by toggling and enabling this option here. So now we should only hear our metronome when the recording is actually engaged. So let's try that out here. All right, very cool. Definitely, definitely going to use this new feature as well. Now, the final new feature that we'll be talking about in today's video is going to be a brand new mixdown option. So let's take a look at that now. Let's close out of our settings, go to the media bay. You can see now there is a new hub option here that we showed off at the beginning of the video, but we're going to go to mixdown and tap on create mixdown. And the new option we'll be talking about here is the exclude all effects. So now if you do enable this and start your mixdown, this will work just like it did before, only now it will automatically disable all of your insert and send effects, leaving you with completely dry stems or a completely dry mix. And of course, there is several reasons for doing this, namely if you want to send it off to a different piece of software and apply effects there. And not everybody does this, of course, but nevertheless, it is still a cool new feature to have. Now, in addition to all the features we've mentioned so far, there are a couple things that we can demonstrate, such as the new Bluetooth and iOS 16 support. We're still currently on iOS 15, and we will be upgrading, but probably not until next year. And we don't actually own any Bluetooth listening devices, as I do kind of prefer to keep everything wired. But I do have several sources that have confirmed to me that the new Bluetooth feature is working perfectly. So if you ever had any latency issues before using Bluetooth headphones with Cubasis, those should now be a thing of the past. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. What do you think of this update? Are you going to upgrade? And if you're not using Cubasis, is this update enough to convince you to start using Cubasis? Definitely let us know in the comments below. And of course, make sure to check out the rest of the Cubasis videos on the channel, as we do feature new videos and new live streams every single week. And so, until next time everybody, keep talking music, and we'll see you later. Hey everybody, Vortex here to remind you to click that link in the description if you do want access to free sounds, guides, and more. And to tell you to check out the over 150 other videos we have about producing music on your iPhone or iPad that we know you'll love.